In this video, you'll see how Jean-Luc Vandenheed, the French world record holder and six-time circumnavigator, won the toughest race in sailing and broke the record by over 100 days in the Golden Globe 2018 race. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing and hit the bell notification icon so you can see the stories of the most interesting sailors in the world, such as Susie Goodall, the only woman to enter the Golden Globe race. In 1968, nine men set out to be the first to sail solo nonstop around the world in the Sunday Times Golden Globe race and only one of them finished, Sir Robin Knox Johnston. A 23-year-old Frenchman, Jean-Luc Vandenheep, watched from the dock as his heroes captured the imagination of millions. Vandenheep would go on to sail around the world five times, including Vendée Globes, BOC Challenge, and an east-to-west circumnavigation speed record that still stands today. But he never finished first with all his podium finishes, and he dreamed of the Golden Globe race. I just think it's a great idea. Why not do it? Um, open it up to people who perhaps have that ambition, have a desire to do something a bit special with their lives, and say, you can do it. We're setting up this event. You can enter this in a perfectly ordinary but seaworthy boat. I, I think that's wonderful. I mean, why dream of it and never do it? And so 18 skippers made it to the start of the race for 32 to 36 foot boats in La Sable de Lone, France on July 1st, 2018, in the 50th anniversary of the Golden Globe race. By the time they left the Atlantic and passed Cape Town, already one boat had been dismasted and many of the skippers had dropped out. And Jean-Luc Vandenheid was firmly in the lead. The psychological halfway point of the race in Hobart, Australia, Vandenheid held a 1600 nautical mile lead over his closest competitor, Mark Slats. Three competitors would be dismasted and rescued in the southern Indian Ocean before they reached Hobart, Australia, Avalish Tommy, Gregor McGuckin, and Loic LePage. All the while, Jean-Luc Van and he would happily tick off the miles and extend his lead over Mark Slats. The master Southern Ocean sailor Jean-Luc Vanden he could not escape the dangers of the Roaring Forties, and he, like his other competitors, was pitch-pulled in a storm which damaged his mast. He thought he would lose the race and have to retire in Chile, and he called his wife on the satellite phone. But then he found a way to repair his damaged shrouds and keep his mast upright. He lost several hundred miles before he got started again to his nearest competitor, Mark Slats. Susie Goodall would suffer a pitch pole in her Rustler 36, which would dismast and disable the boat and require a international rescue. But Vanden he found a way to survive the pitch pole and sail on as one of the last five competitors in the race. And his speeds were not what they had once been as he nursed his broken shrouds and was careful not to overstrain his rig on the port tack where it had the, the weakest point. After many mass climbings, he was able to nurse the boat and his lead to the northern hemisphere first, but Mark Slats was hot on his tail. Slats came within 10 miles of the lead near the Azores High, but a tactical mistake by Slats allowed Jean-Luc Vandenheid to get the better wind and regain the lead. Slats and Jean-Luc had such a huge lead at that point over the third and fourth place competitors that Jean-Luc Vandenheid could sail in under jury rig and still get second place. So he threw out all the stops 
and started sailing like he had been sailing before while slats motored through calms of the Azores High until he could find some wind, trying to cut the corner to the Bay of Biscay. Time Jean-Luc Van en Heet entered the Bay of Biscay, a 50-knot storm with 9-meter waves stood in between him and the Golden Globe race trophy. It opened up over a 300-mile lead, and only a storm could stop him from taking the prize that he dreamed about for over 50 years. After just under 212 days at sea, Jean-Luc Van Den Heed sailed into La Sable de Lone, France, his home port not just the end of the race, to an adoring crowd on a cold, wet winter morning of January 29, 2019, almost 50 years after Sir Robin Knox Johnston completed the Golden Globe race after 312 days at sea. Once again, the veteran French sailor, the oldest competitor in the race, set a record, smashing Knox's record by 100 days. He traveled over 30,000 nautical miles in his 36-foot rustler sailboat, Matmut, and into the history books. Of the 18 competitors at the start, only four have a chance to finish. Will they complete the toughest race in sailing, the 2018 Golden Globe? One person, one boat, one angry ocean. Subscribe to Slowboat Sailing and hit the bell notification icon so you can see the stories of the most interesting sailors in the world, such as Susie Goodall, the only woman to enter the Golden Globe race.